Oh, hello there, and welcome to today's episode of Casual Couch Gaming with your host, Magnus Tsunami. Previously on Casual Couch Gaming, Wario manages to go from 4th to 12th, but boosts his way back to second position after getting a giant mushroom. Then, in the second level Mushroom Gorge, poor Wario plummets to his doom. And now, for today's episode. So welcome back to another Casual Couch Gaming Season 5 episode. Today we're going to play Mario Kart Wii. We haven't played Mario Kart Wii in a very, very long time. In fact, it was the very first game that was selected by my spinner. And we haven't seen it. Wow, Luigi time! Yes, settle down on Luigi. We know it's your time to shine, mate. Anyway, as I was saying before Waluigi rudely interrupted me, instead of playing Wario, we're playing Waluigi! So going through the flower cup today, we're going to see how Waluigi does. Well, like I said, Mario Kart Wii hasn't come up on the spinner since the first ever season of Casual Couch Gaming. Now, just so that you know, each season is roughly about 20 episodes. And if I'm releasing one episode a week, that's 20 weeks. Oh, big pile up there, right at the chain chomp. Waluigi is down to third, quickly regaining his position back at first. Hmm, that was a very nasty collision. But Waluigi playing smart. Another computer player has a power block. Poor Waluigi had nothing to get out of that. I don't think there really is anything that you can do to get out of the power block other than either being in the air or having really good timing with jumping. Waluigi jumping around like a jackrabbit, he's really excited that he's in first position. Bananas are on the course all over the place. He seems to be flying ahead. No computer player in sight. The next player behind him is Yoshi, followed by Koopa Troopa, followed by Mario. Ooh, narrowly avoiding that chain chomp nicely there. Waluigi is not worried at all. Gets a person with his banana. Taking those corners like a pro. Waluigi's not challenged here at all. None of the other computer players can even contest him. Waluigi, I dare say, has this victory in the bag. No dramas here for Waluigi whatsoever. He can just take his sweet time taking those corners. A blue shell homing in and hits Waluigi. Will this be enough to slow down? He gets lightning and red shelled. Will this be enough to slow Waluigi down? No, he still maintains the lead. So red shelled, lightning and blue shelled and he still manages to hold first position. If that's not well played, I don't know what is. Now, almost to the finish line for the final lap. He discards the fake question mark box. Baby Peach is in second and Koopa Trooper is in third as Waluigi crosses the finish line to earn himself a flawless victory. Next race. Okay, so Coconut Mall. Let's see how Waluigi does in this dangerous mall. And off he goes with a nicely timed rocket boost. Going up the escalators. Make sure you don't go down the wrong one. Or up the wrong one. Narrowly avoids being hit by a shell, which gets shattered by the banana he had protecting him from behind. He goes up the waterfall, gains a boost. I, I honestly wonder though, what would this mall look like in real life, and how is it that cars can drive in it? That's what has me curious, and nicely defended. I think Waluigi is playing it smart. Each time a computer player has tried to attack him, he's always had a banana or a shell behind him to protect him. So Waluigi is playing very, very defensively as well as offensively. So he seems to be very smart in the way he's playing. 
Now, the thing is I don't understand about this course is why are those cars going back and forth? Are they lost or are they just confused? I really don't know, but they are a hazard nonetheless. So up the escalator again. Where's Waluigi going to go now? Of course, he's going to take the outer route. Power block in tow. Nothing we could do about that at this stage. The escalator helped us to pick up speed though, so that was really helpful. He's got a green shell behind him for protection. The Mario is in second position. I'm not sure whether it's Cooper Trooper or... No, it's Baby Peach that's in third position, followed by Cooper Trooper. It would be a fierce competition between the computer, but Waluigi does not have to worry about that at all. He's in first position by miles, absolutely smashing his opponents out of the water. He doesn't have to worry about contending for first position at all. He's got this in the bag. Oh, we just got beeped. Did you hear that? I think the computer play is angry. Never mind. So, Aluigi checking behind him. And I can see that Mario is in second position. Baby Peach is in third, followed by Koopa Trooper. I don't think Waluigi really has to worry about who's behind him because he's miles ahead, even if he goes up the wrong side of the escalator. The power block getting him, and he ends up losing all of his power-ups, but even that is not going to be enough to slow him down. Waluigi is powering through. Coconut Mall? No problem. Blue shells? Not a problem. Winning? We've got this in the bag. Good on you, Waluigi. You deserve a win at least. In my eyes, you do. And taking the corner beautifully, might I add, as he takes some hang time there, avoiding those cars. See, what are they doing? They're just moving back and forth between car spots. Like, really? What are they doing? Blue shell. Just before the crossing line, but not enough to stop Waluigi as he gets a little bit annoyed by calling the person who threw it a cheater. Well, all is fair in Mario Kart. Whether it's a blue shell, red shell, bananas, fake question mark box, all is fair game. So, now the snow level. I think this is called... Um, I forget what this course is called, I didn't read it. My bad. All good. So enter the cannon. As we get launched, Mario is in first, only for a short time though, as Waluigi speeds in front of him to retake first position. This is going to be a fierce competition between Mario and Waluigi here, because I might think Mario really wants this first position. He tries to launch a red shell, power blocks in tow, somehow we got hit. Ooh, nice timing there Waluigi. He managed to smash that red shell just in the nick of time a fraction of a second longer and that shell would have hit him up to the slopes we get lightning not enough speed for Waluigi to get those power-ups unfortunately never mind guess we'll have to try and get them later avoiding the shine guys beautifully we are now up to the second lap. Green Shell narrowly missing him, but he smashes into the bollard. I guess you could see the wall. The barrier, maybe? Yeah. He smashes into the barrier on the right-hand side. Grabs a fake question mark box. I can hear a shell behind us, but this is this going to be enough? Mario is still tailing Waluigi. I don't know how far behind he is. But I can hear shells being shot. I can hear other players. Oh, there's Mario. He just snuck up behind us. He managed to sneak by and gain first position. They're playing shunt. Shunting games. They're shunting each other. But Waluigi cut from the outside and regained first position. Waluigi is ruthless when it comes to holding down first position. He will not let Mario take that. Nice, Waluigi. Nice. Avoiding those shy guys beautifully. One wrong step and it could have been a head-on collision. 
Mario is still not far behind, followed by Koopa Trooper, who now had slipped on a banana peel, I believe, or something, because he's lost his position. It's now Wario versus... Ooh, ow. And in comes Mario. Not quite enough to overtake Waluigi. Waluigi still manages to hold first position. Mario just didn't have enough. Wario is just too smart and too cunning, and he wants his position badly. He's not going to let Mario have it. Ooh, nice timing there, Waluigi. Narrowly avoiding that green shell. That was really well played. A fraction of a second later, or if he wasn't paying attention, he could have gone head on to that green shell and it could have spelt disaster. Holding on to the banana, I think Waluigi is playing it smart here. As it is final lap, he ditches the power-ups and crosses the finish line, smashing another victory in the bag. Nicely done, Waluigi. Okay, Wario's gold mine. Lucky last race for the Flower Cup today. And off Waluigi goes. He's holding first position steady, but how long will that last? Baby Peach blasting her way into first position. Only momentarily though, because Waluigi will not stand for that. He takes the trick up the high half pipe. But Baby Peach passes on the fake cloud item to him. Mm. I don't think Waluigi's too happy about that. He's now in fourth position, trying to regain his position back to first. He's now in second. Can he get Baby Peach back after she did what she did to him? Waluigi's out for revenge. Red shell in tow. Oh, ow. What a hit. Back down to third position. Hits the minecart, but luckily did not fall off the track. That was really lucky there for Waluigi. Then gets hit by lightning. If that had gone any worse, Waluigi could have ended up plummeting to his doom and fallen off the track. So he's really lucky there. He's playing it really, really dangerously. He's in fourth position as he shoots Koopa Trooper. He's got to wait for the power-ups before he can shoot or try to get the next player. Who's in second position? The red shell misses because one of the computer players had defended themselves. He's down to fifth, now fourth, and third. He's regaining traction. This is really close. He could even lose his first position spot if Waluigi doesn't play smart. Baby Peach and Mario up ahead. He's trying to catch up. They somehow have managed to held on, hold, held on to first position. Mario getting Waluigi's lightning item that he discards onto Mario. He decides to take the main road instead and not risk the same thing he did last time. Baby Peach getting hit by that fake lightning cloud. In all honesty, that lightning cloud is not a very smart item because if you don't pass it on to somebody else, it zaps you. So I really don't see the point of it. It should just go for the nearest player. That's how I think it should have worked. But the fact that it goes on to you, and then you have to pass it on to somebody else, is a little bit silly. But nonetheless, Waluigi has managed to finally regain first position as he grabs a discarded mushroom that's on the track, takes the high pipe. Is he going to discard it? Yeah, he discards his power-ups while the power block comes into play. He's got to be careful around this section as there are minecarts and they are dangerous. You hit them and you can lose traction or even fall off the course. Waluigi traversing around the minecarts very carefully, picking up another two mushrooms, hitting into the side rail, deflects a shell with his banana, takes the left hand hidden track to take a shortcut Still in first position by miles after a treacherous first couple of laps, he manages to smash the victory in the bag. So a little bit of hassle from the computers this time around, 
but he still manages to smash out first. Well done, Waluigi. Your effort was well worth it. Alrighty, so that's all I have time for here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Till next time, Magnus out. Magnus Tsunami. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.